in this short video let's work on the example where we where we need to eliminate the parameter to find the Cartesian equations so x is 7 secant theta and y is 7 tangent theta and theta, theta is a parameter an angle in this case which has a domain from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 if you don't know how to start I always recommend to write down formulas you know and we do know not so many things in this chapter actually are useful we know that sine square and cosine square together gives you one we also know the, uh, the identity with the secant and tangent if you remember tangent square x minus oh actually the other way around yeah secant square secant goes first always because secant is the cool one secant square x minus tangent square x it gives you one and then I can see since when we are working with secant and tangent then probably I'll be using the formula number two this one okay so to use it I would like to find secant and tangent square each and then add to and then use the identity here to figure out what's going to happen so if x equals 7 secant theta then secant theta is x over 7 I just divided by 7 makes sense makes sense divided by 7 if y is 7 tangent theta then tangent theta is y over 7 I just divided by 7 the second equation makes sense then let's plug into the identity number two which I already showed and it's going to be secant squared becomes x over 7 squared minus tangent squared is y over 7 squared equals 1 pretty cool now if we are asked to find x and y now separately to have a nicer looking first of all I would even multiply everything by 49 then it's definitely will look very nice it's going to be x squared minus y squared equals uh, 49 or 7 squared if you want to see the radius clearly like so so that's going to be interesting uh, that's a very nice answer and one of the things which you might be asked is, is to find x or y separately well in this case x squared is 49 min, uh, plus y squared and then x will be plus or minus a square root of 49 plus y squared and I need to think if x is restricted somehow or not and that's where the domain comes into the picture this domain should be used so when I'm looking into x equation x depends on theta so since theta is from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 then x actually has a domain as well let's figure this out uh, if theta is from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 then x is going to be from so secant at pi over 2 and secant at minus pi over 2 uh, have different meanings if you don't know what it is write down what secant is secant is 1 over cosine right secant theta is 1 over cosine theta well cosine theta uh, is 0 at pi over 2 so we are going to say that so we can say then that since cosine at pi over 2 and minus pi over 2 is 0 and division by 0 gives you infinity definitely x can go up to infinity it's up but what is the minimum value for x for that I actually found a graph for you for uh, secant theta or secant x which is 1 over cosine as you can see here here is what's happening at pi over 2 and minus pi over 2 as you can see x uh, even times 7 will go up to plus infinity here but here at 0 cosine gives you 1 so 1 times 7 will give you 7 it means mm, x actually starts uh, with 7 and goes to plus infinity and we don't include plus infinity like this so x has a domain from 7 to plus infinity that means x cannot be negative why I'm saying that 
because it means we only keep a positive solution here. X is a square root of 49 plus a square root of uh, plus y squared. And that is the final answer. And we can say since, since the domain for x is to be greater or equal than 7. That's it. So that's how you play with those um, equal equations and figure out which kind of um, identity to use. And just play around with it and at some point it will work out if you try different things. Hopefully it was good and I will see you next time.